Hi, so in video 1490 we made this thing which is a hyperbolic curve because I want to put a lot of water in there and hopefully form a vortex and generate from that. Now, I've put an aluminium collar around it because I don't want water splashing everywhere. Let's have a look and see how it works. Okay, it's sitting on a bucket and I have a bucket of water. That's definitely a vortex and it goes around clockwise. So I'm in the Northern Hemisphere and it goes around clockwise. I imagine in the Southern Hemisphere it would go around anti-clockwise instead of the correct way. I'm joking, obviously, but the idea of the correct way. Hmm. Anyway, got to pay attention to that because here's our fan blade and that water is going to be spinning in that direction, hitting the blades, running off and forcing the fan blade that way. Now, I'm going to change this up a little bit and use a boat propeller. The reason for that is because I, I like to do things in a different way to show that things can be done in a different way. There are usually at least a thousand solutions to any problem. Anyway, we're going to use a boat propeller. We're going to use a boat propeller because uh, motion is relative. If I'm stood here right now still, in fact I'm zipping through uh, space at thousands of miles an hour. I don't see it because I'm on the Earth and my frame of reference is here. If I went out to space, I'd see all those little ants speeding around at thousands of miles an hour. It depends where you stood to which thing is moving. So if we rotate a boat propeller, the water moves. But that's only because we're stood watching it that way. If we were stood with the water and the water was moving, it would be apparent that we weren't because we're moving relative to the water in the same way that we're moving relative to the Earth. And it would look to us as if the boat propeller was spinning because of the movement of water. So frames of reference being relative means that the motion is also relative. A propeller is designed to move water, so water will move a propeller. But we need to pay attention to that rotation, because if it's that way up, and it's rotating this way, it's going to slice the blade here and do nothing. So we need it that way, so it will slice the blade here and push it round. So we need to put the propeller in the right orientation. And of course I'm going to glue it onto one of these. Now the reason I'm using these so much, well I've measured the bolts and amps on this at spe specific speeds once already so I don't need to do it a million times. There's a relationship between volts and speed and amps and torque and it's going to be pretty constant because I'm using a constant motor. So if I stick that on there I can take a few readings and we can see what happens. So I've attached it to my PC fan and glued a bit of drain pipe on it, which answers the question actually, would it work in a drain pipe? Probably will, because I've put a bit of drain pipe. And I'm going to put the drain pipe on there and that will complete that structure. So let's glue that on there. Okay, that's it together. Now a couple of things before we set it up. This motor I've used is a PC fan motor, and of course that's low torque, high speed. Great for wind. But here we're about to chuck a whole load of water on here and we're going to have a heavy mass moving through it. So we really should have chosen was something that was low torque, sorry, high torque, but low speed. And that's the difference between uh, wind and water. There's just so much more mass in the water, you can use a higher torque motor. So a higher torque motor, remember, will generate more amps and lower voltage. Whereas a low torque, high speed motor generates more voltage and lower amps. But we're going to go with this one because it's just been such an easy build. And the other thing is, of course, we've used a propeller blade. It's right there in the center. And if you look at things like the Kaplan generator, for instance, and the Whirlpool generator, then they use propeller blades too. So let's set it up and see what we can get out of it. Okay, I've set it up here. Let's pour some water in and see what happens. And again. Okay, that was cool. Okay, I've replaced our propeller with the boat propeller. We'll try it again. And again.
Okay, a little equivocal, but I would say that our impeller worked better than a boat propeller. Uh, I mean, it's on a load, of course, it's always on a load, so more volts means more amps when it's in a situation like this. But this particular design is meant for a very low head with a larger flow of water, just like the Whirlpool turbine. And it's actually surprisingly easy to build once you work out how to build this bit here. So, pretty cool micro turbine, produces some real stuff, and I might change the motor. Anyway, I thought I would share that design with you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.